going through how you're going to start the presentation. Sometimes people get tripped up because they're, you know, two minutes away from giving a 10 minute speech and they're frantically trying to go through the whole 10 minutes in their head. And that doesn't mathematically doesn't make sense. But I, I have seen from years and years of, of interviewing people on TV and, and being on stages with people, people who suffer from public speaking anxiety typically struggle to get started, but once they get started, they're okay. So I, I, I really, I really want people to start strong. So when you're doing your breathing, before you're going on stage. I think if you just spend that time thinking about the first couple of things you're gonna say and trust that if you start strong, you're gonna get that momentum. You know, a, a basketball player who makes their first couple of shots, forget it, they're on fire. So so while you're breathing, think about, okay, I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna soak in the applause for a minute, I'm gonna say hi, I'm gonna start with that joke I've been working on, and then I'm gonna say that one thing that, I, that I've been you know practicing over and over, and then I'm gonna pause again, and I'm gonna regroup, and then away we go. And I know you're a big fan of tennis, so I'm going to use the the analogy. I know the word like cadence, right? You re, you find your you find your rhythm, and if you can kind of visualize it, once you get into it, that trust of yourself, right? It's like okay, and then you get you get that you get that ri- get that rhythm going. Yeah, for sure. Again, I think I think people you know have a tendency to put so much on how they start. Uh, because look, it's important. I understand that, you know, you want to grab somebody right away. So there's, so you, so you're already nervous about giving a speech or being on TV, but then you're like, oh man, I better not screw up in the beginning. And and now your brain is going hundred miles per hour. But if you can slow down a little bit and just, and kind of, uh, start easily. So maybe that means your first talking point is a, is a short one, or you're just going to talk for a few seconds and then ask for a round of applause for the person who put the event together. And while people are clapping, you're actually selfishly taking a, a breath. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it looks like you're doing this grand gesture of, well, let's have a round of applause for this person but really you're doing it to give yourself a break just figure out little cheats to get yourself into it so i i i love that uh in other words people don't realize that you're actually uh you know doing continued prep while right. it's going on right, right. it's great <laughs>